Hey guys, welcome to the eighth episode of PVTV. What? what? Tonight we're going to talk to you about what the future of vaping is going to become should the FDA have their way. So today we are here to bring you a review on the Views Electronic Cigarette. You know, digital vaping as they call it. <laughs> um, I'm actually really excited for this review because this is what our future holds for us if we sit back idle and do nothing with the, all of these FDA regulations. So I implore you to act in your specific state, call your legislators, do whatever you need to do. So on to the review. Get with people. I actually uh, find this thing disgusting. Um, let's get you, a, <laughs> sorry, let's get a, let's get a little, uh, yeah, little cloudage. I, I'm, I'm gonna, let's, I don't wanna do this, <laughs> I'm gonna do it. Let's see, let's see his vapor production on his bed, Larry. What? That's horrible. Yeah. Um, That's probably like a hundred mil brand. Yeah, I don't even know what <laughs> nicotine strength these are. It doesn't really tell you. Doesn't it's just it. assuming that it's giving you the right amount. It's quit smoking nicotine. <laughs> yeah, that's the that's the amount it says on the label. It just says quit smoking nicotine. Take it. <laughs> take it. Like Whether you it. like it or not. Live it, vape it. Um, I personally find that this tastes like uh, if you've ever had ash blow back into your mouth yep. when you were driving in the car. If you're an ex-smoker. It's breather. literally exactly what this tastes like to me. Um, it's light, which is pretty nice. Uh, it's convenient. Um, but other than that, I find no other benefit to it. The, the battery life is terrible and the taste is terrible. That yeah. is my personal review. I'm gonna grab my vape now. Yeah, I think we should all grab our vapes. Yeah. One thing, one thing I will note on though is, is if you walk into a store and you're gonna go buy a pack of cigarettes and you see this instead and you buy this, you're not smoking. So I'll give it its props for that. Yeah. that it's High introducing you to that. Vaping. Um, in, in the same breath, I will say that there's way better options than this. Gross. But Sweet. if this is what gets you into vaping and off of cigarettes, I'm all for it. I'm all for it. If licorice straws get you off of cigarettes, dope. I'm good nice. with it. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, but I'm going to get a little... Yeah, it tastes really bad. I don't like tobacco flavors as is, and this this is like probably the worst tobacco flavor ever. <laughs> they clinically this, tested the tobacco flavors, polled people, and were like, on which one? List people. Yeah, which one tastes the worst? People we're that picking have no that taste one. Buds approve this flavor. <laughs> I bet they got smokers to do it. They can't <laughs> taste a whole this lot. This tastes like catfish armpit. <laughs> I can't even. Here. There you go. I'm not even going to attempt to hit this because I already know it tastes oh, like. No, I already did it. And I was going to throw up. It's so bad. It makes me want to throw, throw up. up. It tastes like I threw up. Yeah, pretty <laughs> much. <laughs> I mean, don't get me wrong. I've started out with a cigarette like, not this. And in comparison, compared to other ones that are out there, if that's the route you choose to go, this is crap. It is. There are way better ones out there that do tell you, like, you can get cartridges that tell you what nicotine strength and all that. Yeah. This is fake tobacco trying to hop on the bandwagon and keep making money and, and in, they, in don't eyes, they don't they care they don't care if you quit or not because either no. way you're buying a product from them so it doesn't make a difference to them which, it doesn't which you do so they put no proper thought into making this and what actually helps people quit Correct. they yeah. just basically oh this is coming in i'm losing money let me put this out this is actually super old technology guys this this right here, it's a cartomizer. That's all it is. It's a nice old cartomizer that people used to use back in 08, 09. Yeah. Why? The settlers. Why? <laughs> Christopher Columbus brought the cartomizer with him. Yeah, on the Santa Maria. Yeah. He did. And two of every animal. To, and two of every <laughs> animal. <laughs> but I don't know anyone that would want to take a step back in time. I, I wouldn't. You can't fix this mistake. You yeah. can't. You know, it, it, it is good to help people change so over. <laughs> yeah, survey says. I will give it, it's good to help people change over. It helped my yeah. mom as, start as an to introductory over. thing. It's, it is. It's, it's great. It gives you that cigarette feel. It's same size, same similar shape. My cigarette's all lit up right at the end. White, bright well, white. But the, bright the, white. the feel in your hand. Well, I think that's like, to show people that if you're vaping around them, they're like not that. actually smoking, smoking a cigarette. Yes. I, yeah, I guess. The C word. Yeah. 
So it, it can help you make that transition, give you that feel in your hands that you want and that you're looking for, and then you move over to things that will actually help you and get, off, get rid I, of all of your cravings altogether. I can do that too. <laughs> I, I can't. It I works. Know. I'm vaping. Someone push me. <laughs> <laughs> Just like the real thing. Just like the real thing. It's right up there. All right, so that's kind of our opinions on it. Yeah. Uh, to give you the lowdown on, on, you know, this this is going to be what vaping is if we don't come together and get our shit together. So to talk more about that, we're going to bring in John, the owner, who's big into the advocacy. You know, he's, he's going to Washington. He's fighting for us. So we're going to bring him in to really give you guys the lowdown dirty shame on... Guess I'm chopped liver. ...on the future of this. You went to. I'm sorry. It's not what I meant. I have to introduce... John and yes, Rebecca went to. She had a lovely breakfast and it was a great time. She walked in heels and hated it. <laughs> but she, she went. She, she went. Did we you all heard go? about it. <laughs> all right. We're back with John Thompson, the owner of Preferred Vapor. Uh, he's huge into the advocacy. He's got his finger on the pulse, everything that's going on. Um, we just wanted to bring him in and uh, get his point of view on, on the View Say cigarette and see what he thinks being a vape shop owner and being in the game for 10 years ish. I don't know about 10 years, 2009, that would be what, six years? Six years, it's close enough. It's but yeah, I mean, I basically was started, rounding up. I kind of started out with okay. this technology, it's pretty much, it's about 2010, 2011 uh, technology. Um, I'm actually happy that you chose to do this little review as far as what a lot of the reviewers are doing right now where they're, um, they're going to review this views and talk about how crappy it is and decide that this is going to be vaping's future if we don't stand up, fight um, not just through the FDA as well as your own state is also trying to implement their own their own little laws, and I'll go into that more in the future. But I mean, one of the big things that's going on right now is in California with the whole still blowing smoke, seventy-five million dollar ad that California is running. That's your tax dollars hard at work, man. Yes, to fight to fight so you know to fight the, the sale of e-cigarettes. <clears throat> But the problem is, is you're going to have other states that are going to follow suit with that, not just the FDA. I mean, you got the FDA that's going to lean over top of everything. Federal level, yeah. Right. And then you got the state level where they can screw you over too. So you got to show up, you got to fight, you got to send the letters, you got to call your legislators, you got to call your senators, your governors. Whether you get an answer machine, whether you get uh, one of their aides, I mean, just tell your point. You know, it's there. There's so much that everyone can do. Uh, so that's definitely something that is one of the reasons why we come here to, to explain to you how badly it's needed because trust me, they want to end vaping. Uh, they want to, you know, get rid of everything until like 2009, pretty much 2007, which this stuff didn't even exist. Yeah. They're trying to, they're trying to phase out vaping in the end. It's going to look like this. Okay. We all were dying from cigarettes. So what did we do? We created the vaping industry yep. and built it to where it was all of us. And now they're trying to hand our industry that we created right back to Big Tobacco. The only person that would be able to sustain the amount of money it would take to produce. it would take to do what the FDA and what these yep. state levels are saying to do, and they're doing it on purpose. Oh yeah, they're they saying it's going to cost this you know ten million dollars to create this product. Well, none of us can afford to do that. And if you have three products, that's thirty million dollars, mm -hmm. and they don't even have to approve. Your, your your thing, ten million dollars gone. No, but you can't have that. Yep. So they're gonna they're gonna push it to where only the biggest players can play, and that's gonna be big tobacco. So that's a pretty much what what this what this represents. Uh, like you were saying, that I like it because you know if you walk into a Seven Eleven or a Wawa or whatever, and you see this on the shelf in your cigarettes, and you're like, oh, if it gets you into vaping, that's great. But the problem is, it's so close to your damn cigarettes that a lot of people will be like, ah, you know what, it's a stressful day today. Screw the views. Give me my cigarettes. Yep. Where us as a vape shop, where we don't sell cigarettes, you're not pressured. You don't have that, you don't have that like, oh, I could buy my cigarettes, but instead I'm going to buy an electronic the cigarette. There, isn't there. there isn't there. You, if you want your cigarettes, you got to go to 7 Eleven. You yep. come to a vape shop, you're buying vape stuff. And there's no pressure. There's nothing like that. <clears throat> so, I mean, that's what vaping is. I mean, they. They don't want to talk about big vaping. Big, there is no big vaping. There's only big tobacco. Yep. Big vaping, what are you talking about? Like 35 plus thousand vape shops, small mom and pop businesses. I have 15 employees. Like that's not a corporation. 
all strung together, that's what big vaping is. It's mom and pop businesses, and you all know that as consumers. There aren't these big, massive chains and Walmarts and of vape stuff. It's all mom and pop shops and online stores, and we have a great community. We're trying to keep it that way, and Big Absolutely. Tobacco is literally trying to take it away from us. So Big Tobacco and the FDA and the state level, they're all trying to tr crush the vaping industry. Now, are you aware of what crushing the vaping industry would entail? I mean, 35,000 vape shops, and they're growing every day. You figure at least every shop has three employees. There's 100,000 employees without jobs, out of work. unemployment, no sales tax, no employee taxes. There's no stores, so now you're not getting your store tax. Yep. Uh, it, it travels down the line. We also use a lot of other services. Like I have, I, you know, we need napkins. Yep. So, <clears throat> so we are creating other jobs in our own industry, bottle manufacturers. And I mean, it's just the list goes yep. on and on and on. That trickle down economy that all the politicians yes. want to talk about. This is it. Think about right. it. Right, I got to build my vape shop. I need lumber, right? Yep. You need lumber, you're gonna need tools that you're yeah. gonna have to buy from someone. Right, it, it, it travels down the whole line. So what you're really doing is, is you're just crushing an industry, you're crushing, a, you're crushing America is basically what you're doing. That's it. Like Small. that's the that's the whole point of America. Be, build a business, become rich, and, 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 and be great. That's it. And you're basically succeed. snuffing out. They're, they're not even you giving know? people the opportunity to succeed because right. we're doing something that a corporation that has billions of dollars doesn't like. Right. It's that's not capitalism. That's you know, that's a monopoly. That's a monopoly. That's a monopoly. It's not even the same thing. It's relative, but it's not the same thing. But because they don't like it or they're losing money, we're you know they're gonna just try to get rid of us. You know what's funny? I read in this that this is the first electronic cigarette to have a digital, some kind of digital chip for the perfect puff every time. That's interesting. That's, that's really weird. So I mean, I've been vaping since two thousand nine. I think out of like. 80% of my devices have all had some kind of freaking electronic chip inside of them. So they're just, they lie. There's a whole type of devices they're, called regulated. Yeah. And 98% the, of them are. The problem is 98% of people who are seeing the commercials for these don't know that that's a lie because they don't know what the, else what is it out was, there. Right. Know? Like so they just, don't know. So it's just lie upon lie upon lie. You know, they're oh, lying to uneducated people. Which, right. They, first they hated, they hated vaping. They wanted to destroy yeah. it. And then they realized they couldn't destroy it because they tried. They couldn't destroy it, so then what they ended up doing? They ended up coming out with their own electronic cigarette, and then they were fighting for it. But in the end, they don't care either way. Nope. If they invested $30 billion in electronic cigarettes and tomorrow they were gone, they'd be like, huh, well, that was a $35 billion loss, but guess what? We're going to keep selling our cigarettes. We'll That's a tax write-off. Yeah, we'll make $35 billion in the next three months. They don't care either matter. way, so we can't put we can't put all the weights in their friggin' corners because they'll just destroy you. I mean, yeah. look at flavors. You said on the video, I don't like tobacco flavors. Either why, that's why I don't smoke anymore. Yep. I like cotton candy and, and cereal vapes are my new thing. And that's yeah. another industry that's cereal on, a, vapes. on a boom. Yep. Flavor industries. Flavor industries, we right. have to get our flavorings from somewhere. Exactly, you know? that's, a whole, that's another trickle down. But yep. I mean, but here's the thing is, big tobacco is not gonna give you cotton candy. <laughs> and, be close. And mm -hmm. cereal flavors and cherries and, they're not gonna. They're gonna. They're gonna give you this crap, and that's what we're gonna end up being left tobacco with. Tobacco and menthol, and that's gonna be it. And so. not even good menthol. Not even good menthol. I mean, menthol that tastes like catfish armpit, bro. I'm not lying. <laughs> I'm not lying. You know, I don't recommend it. But if you want to, you can go to Seven Eleven right now and buy one and well, taste catfish armpit, bro. So it's where it's do terrible. you go it's after this? I'm to a vape shop. Yeah. <laughs> hopefully, hopefully you're smart enough to buy this. Realize that it can work for you. Not this one. But vaping can work for you. Find a vape yep. shop. There's lots of apps, and um, I know there's that one. What's it like? Vape Search USA. Vape Search USA. Great one. Pop in there. It shows you where all the vape shops are around you. Nice. Vape Boss app. That's a good one on your vape Android and, yep. and iPad phone. A Vape Boss. It'll show you where all the vape shops are. You can go Yelp, YP. Yep. You know, vape shop, and it'll. I believe even even Google Maps. I think right. If you type in vape, you know, it'll show yeah. you. Find a vape shop. Definitely. Find someone that Let's knows what they're talking about, and we'll get you to the next step. I mean, you see, we're all using these big crazy devices. There's a reason because it's a thousand times better. I mean, come on now. It's good cloud there, Johnny boy. It's good cloud. Look at this thing. Ew. That's, that's vaping. A, that's vaping. That keeps that's me vaping. off cigarettes. Exactly. This not gonna do it.
This keeps me off cigarettes, plus all the cool flavors, the new toys. Amazing, I, it, yeah. it's, it's become more than an industry. It's become a hobby. It's a hobby, definitely. It's a love. There's more to it. I never loved my cigarettes. I liked it. It was a ritual, but it, I never loved them. I loved smoking. I love smoking. But I love vaping more. I love, right. I love the act of smoking. But like you're like but salivating over the new that. device. Like, exactly. oh my God, the new atomizer it's came in. I got to have it. I never did that. Like, oh man, a new pack of cigarettes came out. Yeah. I got, like, <laughs> nope. It Didn't just doesn't work like that. There's nope. no innovation in that industry exactly. anymore because it's not necessary to innovate in that industry anymore. They have you already. So yep. You're hooked. Yep. 50 That's million people. <laughs> So, in this yeah. state, I'm sure. I'm sure there's so many more people. And why do you think there's they fight? There's 50 million smokers in America. You know, that, that's it? Yeah, 50 million. Really? Yeah. That's a lot of people. It's a lot of people. Well, that's a lot of tax dollars. That is a, a lot, lot of, of people. You figure 50 million dollars times, or 50 million people times seven dollars a pack per day. Mm, that's, that's a lot of money. All of the money. And do you, do you that doesn't even include dip, does it? No, that's not no. counting any of the any of the any other, other tobacco any other kind of things. Do you, do you know the big the big problem with why California is attacking? vaping and why a lot of other states are attacking vaping do you know the real true reason kickbacks if you go back to the tobacco wars there's a, there's a couple great books I, we'll list them in the description there's a great book uh, if you're really interested in knowing more but back in the tobacco wars the um the entire country all the states borrowed money from the tobacco industry with a with an incentive to repay the loan over 30 years. And the interest was based on how many cigarettes were sold. Wow. So there were projections, obviously, and they knew people were gonna quit. There was a decline in, in, the, in the graph. Right. Well, the problem is, is because of vaping, the graph is now going straight down, where like they're, they're looking at a 30-year <laughs> loan that the interest is gonna be absolutely ridiculous right. because people aren't smoking anymore. Yep. So they're trying to kill it. Yep. Because of money. Because they're going to lose money. It's all about money. All money. Don't, don't be fooled. You know, nobody in big tobacco gives a shit about your health. Nobody cares. Obviously. Yeah. They're killing people for how yeah. freaking and long. And they don't yeah. care. One way or another, they offer this thing, knowing that the chance of you quitting smoking on that thing is, is slim, slim to none. Slim to none. Slim to none. And again, either way, they're getting your money. So they don't care. So, you know. Yeah. Uh, it, just make, it makes me mad. I can't even. It does. It's all about money. It's Everything cool. is. You know, it's it's um you know if you go back to like the gold standard of the '70s, same thing is happening now today. Um, it's all everything is always about money. There's yeah. money tied up in industries, and they don't want to give it up. And unfortunately, that's what it comes down to. Yeah. It's all about money, and that's basically what all this exactly. bullshit is all about. Big tobacco, the FDA, everything. It's um, money. You know, I it's think all... the I think the FDA is stalling because they're trying to find this bad shit, yep. and they can't. Because if they come out with something that's complete bullshit, like what California is doing, nothing but lies, yep. if they do that, they're going to be sued and people are going to see the lies. And then it's going to all be transcended. So when they do it, they got to do it right. And because they can't find a way to do it, like they can't give us a bad image. Wow. So they're just making themselves look like assholes when yeah. they try. Yep. Because, you know, they, they might have tons of money to pay doctors to, to you know, back these bullshit studies Money but can't fight there's backs. there's doctors who vape who are going to fund their own studies you know there's educated people in the vape world as well yes there are trying to say and that's definitely that's definitely something that if you're gonna if you're gonna listen to some kind of big headline make sure you read the whole article see who wrote it and do your research don't yeah. just look at that Find one article funded the study right because maybe like maybe maybe two weeks later it was completely rebunked by a Twelve people, but you didn't read those little ones. You right. only read the main headline, which yep. was complete bullshit. Yep. People can write whatever they want. Why don't you read what's actually being, like, recommented yeah. to it? And and, and use, your, use you know? your brain. I mean, you got to brain yourself. Use it. I mean, you know what's stupid and what's not. Yep. Um, I mean, that's just how I feel. Like in the end, I think you as a vapor should support shops that support advocacy. That's it. And you know, any shop should be able to. You know, talk about advocacy and be part of it, whether you're just donating money or whether you're like me and you're full fledged into it, where you're going to DC to talk to people. You go to Harrisburg because we're in Pennsylvania. Yep. Um, we go into Philadelphia for the Philly, for the Philly taxes. You know, if you're really involved, then that's great, and you as a consumer can get involved. Um, but in the end, make sure that the person you're giving your money to isn't just in it for the for the money. Make sure they're yep. into it for the industry. You know, it's it, it for the community for for all of it. It's you know, absolutely. It's that's. I was actually talking. We had a uh, a couple come in earlier, and they were sitting at the taste bar trying stuff, and uh, they were talking about another shop, and and they were like, you know, 
you know, those guys are kind of like your competitors. And I was like, in a sense, I guess they are because they're in the same industry as, as us. But we don't look at it like that because if the FDA comes down and bans vaping, we're all closed. Right. So why feud amongst ourselves when we can band together, we can hold events that raise money for corporations or uh, for charities like Safada and Kasa. You know, when we can band together and, and become a larger population as one to fight these things as opposed to few We got, we got plenty of time to fight amongst ourselves yeah. after we beat the shit out of the exactly. FDA and the states. Once we, we don't start fighting. Going anywhere, yeah, don't start flipping birds or something. You know, you know, but know. until then, no, <laughs> we're, awesome. all, we're all in it for each other and that's and that support the shops to support advocacy. It's that's absolutely it. like, you know, please take that away from, from this video is, yep. is definitely do that. Yeah. Uh, I think that's pretty much wrapped up uh, what we wanted to talk yeah. about. You know, don't don't buy this crap. Just leave, find a vape shop, buy this, and buy buy a, a proper vape. Google Maps. I'm sure Apple has an app that's um, you know a, a map app, a map app. A Apple Maps. Apple Map app. Um, if you got if you got no vape shop near you, preferredvapor.com. Yeah. Call us. We will literally Shoot talk it. to you on the phone and yeah. get you, you your starter ask kit for John. And we'll try oh. to get him on a phone. I'll try. You can ask try. me. I'm Justin. Call me. I'll try. Call me. I'll answer. I'll holl at you. I will also do the same. Yes. Rebecca Anybody will do the here. Same. We'll, we'll step you, you through every step and oh. you'll you'll get your little package in the mail and gotta go to the vape shop. But that's it. but yeah, that's a little shameless plug, sorry. Yeah, that's but <laughs> it's, it, it's true. I mean not everybody's near a vape shop. If you're yeah. in the middle of like Montana and it's eighty miles to a vape shop, yeah, you might wanna you might wanna you might wanna order from preferred vapor hey, We got but customers sure. in Alaska. Yeah. We and do. at the same aspect, that's the other thing I wanted to say is, you know, you might find products, you know, cheaper online than you'll find them in a B&M. But again, you have to remember that these companies don't have overhead. They don't have, you know, the employees. They don't have the rent. They don't. No, because they're probably working out of their damn kitchen. Yeah. Exactly. So, you know, Call and at the same time, support. I'm Watch willing to bet a bajillion dollars that they're not making donations to these organizations. Uh, they they're care. not helping. They don't care. You know, so if you are going to order online, that's totally fine. And we understand it. It's probably or it could not be from us. But make sure you're doing your research on who you're learning from. Make sure they care about the vaping community. Don't just look at this the cheapest price. Exactly. Oh, I got two dollars off my tank. So what? Make sure it's going towards us. But yeah, I think you did a very good job, yeah. sir. We appreciate you having. No on problem. I'll keep down. fighting for the industry yeah. until the day I die. Because and I realized that opening up a vape shop would mean that I was going to become a, you know, a freaking have to wear a suit and go deal with people in Washington and Harrisburg and, and fight for the right to vape, but... It's an added bonus. You know what? If that's, <laughs> if that's what's got to be done, then I'm totally there. You know? Yay, and, responsibility. And, and Yay. you should be there as well. You know, sure. absolutely. Even on a local level. I'm sure you got a court house. There's always know. something you can yeah. do. Yep. Promise. You got to Tell your story. That's it. Just tell your story. You don't have to go with signs and picket signs and create... A, you know, a circle and block off the entrance. Just go and tell them, like, hey. Well, the reason why is because a lot of it, 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 a lot of people don't know what vaping is still, That's and probably exactly sixty percent <laughs> of the legislation don't know what vaping is, and okay. governors, and they don't know what it is. And maybe they, you know, oh, I know what vaping is, kind of, yeah. but they don't know what vaping really is. So educate them. The more they know about you and what you do and how something works, the less likely they will be to pass bullshit laws and try and tax the shit That's out of it. us and all they're that crap. They're paid to listen to you. Yes, by they the are. Way. They just, are. They're paid just by say you it. to listen to you. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. pay yeah. them you to listen them. to you. So, so I mean, if they want to start an argument with you, yeah. just remind them. I like, think hey. you'd be surprised that a lot of them may not. May, you may not. You may not get a hold of them right away. But if you try two or three times, they will get back in touch with you. Nice. Someone will. And yeah, tell your story. So. See, I think that's that's. You know, one Along of the messages we can give with this video is if you know someone who smokes, who's thinking about quitting, you know, show them this video. Show them, you know, that there's more to vaping than what they see in 7-Eleven or Wawa or, you know, their corner store. You know, there's places out here that actually give a shit if they get off cigarettes, you know. Absolutely. So, yeah, you can yeah. also, you can also um, donate a little bit of money. I mean, Casa, Safada, you can, I mean, the AVA, the American Vaping Association, you can go on a little site. You can click the little donate button. Donate a dollar. It's a freaking dollar. It goes to a great cause. It goes to something, you know? So Absolutely. there are things you can do as a consumer. Um, but yeah, I say that's pretty good. I say we wrapped it up and uh, Sounds good to me. Put, see you in the next that's time it. I show up on PVTV. Yeah. I don't know when that'll be, but you know, thank you for I appreciate for yeah. having me on, on the show. Yeah, thanks, thanks, for, it. thanks for being on your show, bro. It's no problem. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, for this episode of PVTV, I'm Justin. I'm Becca. I'm John. I'm Ian, and, and we will see you next week. House, Absolutely. Indeed. Peace, love, and rubber gloves, guys. It's crooked. <laughs> That's what <laughs> she said. Look, it's crooked. <laughs>